Welcome to this week's edition of Fingerprinting Gurus. I am Tommy Watkins, your instructor, here for a new and exciting topic. Before diving into this week's subject matter, I kind of request that you support our content by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Our content aims to assist you in advancing your entrepreneurial ventures, particularly in the ink card fingerprinting business and the mobile ink card fingerprinting industry. Without further ado, let us explore this week's uh, topic, fingerprinting like a professional. Fingerprinting is a specialized skill often conducted by uh, professionals in law enforcement, forensics, or private investigation. While becoming proficient requires hands-on training and experience, here are some basic steps to fingerprinting like a professional. Number one, gather necessary uh, supplies, such as fingerprint cards, uh, things of that nature. Uh, and of course, you want to uh, use hand sanitizers, things of that nature. That's part of the process, um, writing utensils, things of that nature. Number two, you want to prepare the subject. Um, here, you explain the process to the person, being fingerprinted, ensuring that they understand what will happen, ensuring the person's hands are clean and dry. Number three, position. Instruct the person to sit at the table or desk, explaining to how to place their fingers, fingerprint card roll, each finger from nail bed to nail bed, ensuring that there is no smudging. Number four, ink-based fingerprint. Apply ink evenly to the person's fingertip. It should always be a thin layer, not too thick, not too thin. Roll each finger onto the fingerprint card and roll from one side to another to uh, capture their fingerprints. Number five, recording. Label each fingerprint clearly on the card. Um, record other necessary information such as name, date, and reason for the fingerprints. Make sure the person's name and other identifiers are correctly spelled and written. Number six, quality check. Examine the fingerprints for clarity. If any are smudged or unclear, you may need to redo them. Check with that all required fingerprints are presented and clearly visible. Number seven, digital fingerprint. If using digital system, follow the manufacturer's instructions for capturing fingerprints. Ensuring the digital scanner is clean and calibrated properly. Number eight, clean up. Provide the person with material to clean their hands, such as wipes or tissues. Clean the equipment and your hands thoroughly after each session. Number nine, documentation. Properly document the process, including any challenges faced or additional information provided by the person being fingerprinted. Number 10, continuous learning. Stay focused, updated with the latest techniques and tools in fingerprinting throughout the training and professional development opportunities. Remember, this is a basic overview and professional fingerprinting often involves uh, nuanced techniques and attention to detail. If you are conducting fingerprints for legal forensics or official purposes, it's advisable to seek formal training and certification to ensure accuracy and reliability to work. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this content.